hello hello welcome to it's a wrap where i help you achieve your finished look in this video i'm going to kind of go back a little bit take a few steps back in episode one i really wanted to show you guys a beautiful dip to get you guys all excited about what's to come so here in episode two of the dip series we are taking a step back and I'm going to go over a few more basics, okay? So I am going to um, go through the whole process in this video, okay? The prep, the uh, application, the activator, the different you know steps of the system, what they are for, the filing, shaping, all of that, okay? So that as you guys continue with the series, you will see the steps that I am doing that I am not showing in the video, okay? So I hope you guys are excited. Let's get into it. Hello, hello. Welcome to It's a Wrap, where I help you achieve your finished look. Today, I will be uh, doing a class on uh, dip powder. So uh, if you don't know what dip powder is, uh, basically dip powder is a finer grade of acrylic powder. And it's so fine that you can just apply it uh, layer by layer by just dipping your finger into it. So um, the company that um, I will be showing you guys is called Bella Hoot. And this is uh, the Bella Hoot starter kit. We have several of these but you get the three liquids that I'm gonna go over today and you get three powders, okay? So uh, first and foremost, uh, for prep, I have already um, started, but on my thumb, I'm gonna go through all of the steps for you guys. So if I want my nails to last for a long time, I will uh, push back the, uh, cuticle area to remove you know the dead skin and all of that if I was using uh, my drill I would go in I would go in um, with this bit here around that cuticle area to help uh, remove all of that build up so this can be done uh, with a hand file and the system is designed so that um, someone can do this at home on their own. So it is an opportunity for you guys to sign up and join this company if you like. Of course, when you join the company, um, you get these products at a discount. So I'm just gonna go um, around this area. Also, when you order, you get cuticle sticks, files, and alcohol pads. We also carry uh, cuticle oil, and this one is in the apple scent. And this is my favorite. You just twist the bottom of it and roll it up, and then you could just, you know, put it around your cuticle. For long wear, I would recommend um, to dehydrate the nail plate. Um, I have also been going in with a Bond-Aid and primer for my long wear. But um, if you're like me and you're doing your nails all the time, maybe it's for YouTube videos or demonstration purposes, I have been using this uh, peel-off base. So if you see my nails are a little shiny, that's because I have this on. So what this is going to do is going to help the product not last as long. That way you don't have to fully soak off the acrylic and all of that. That way, you know, you're not overexposing yourself to acetone and all of that. Uh, one thing I would recommend, you know, doing your nails a lot. I um, like to use um, this Satin Hands product by Mary Kay. And if you are interested in this product, uh, definitely let me know. I do have a lot of these on hand. Uh, the first step is going to soften. So it's going to uh, soften any calluses. And if you constantly have your hands 
in acetone or monomer or anything like that the second step is going to exfoliate the skin and then the third step is going to provide uh, moisture back in so when the coronavirus hit and everybody was at home trying to soak their nails off and all of that and didn't really know what they was doing and their, their hands was dry and crusty and stuff i got a lot of calls saying uh you know what what can i do so um that satin hand set really came in handy so now i'm just applying that uh peel off base and letting this uh dry quickly now with this peel off base i'm doing uh two coats you can do one uh three whatever you want to do but i'm only doing two so while this is drying, I want to talk to you about the liquids. So with the dip system, if you are um, not familiar, the main three liquids is the, um, the base coat, which is the step one, the uh, activator, which is the step two, and the top coat, which is the step three. In some cases, um, the base coat and the top coat can um, generally be the same thing. And one of the main ingredients is uh, glue. So basically what you are doing, you are applying a thin layer of glue down. You are dipping into the powder. Then you want to activate it. So um, if you kind of want to think about it, um, the activator in some ways is kind of like um, the monomer. So when you apply the activator, it's going to seep through the layers of dip powder and it's going to cause it um, to activate and harden. All right. So I have uh, this on here and then I'm going to um, apply my tip using some nail glue. All right. Um, some other things that you may need while doing dip nails. Um, I like to use coffee liners and cupcake liners. Uh, one thing that you will see, dip powder, um, because it is very finely grained, it can uh, get messy at times. So I like to lay these down. Um, when the product spills out, you can just take this, fold it, and just pour it somewhere and dispose of it. Now, another reason why I like uh, the dip powder, especially um, with the coronavirus and you know different things, a lot of people are uh, paying attention more and trying to be uh, more sanitary. So, um, a lot of people are concerned that you know their fingers are being dipped in the same container with someone else. So, you can offer for your clients that, um, you know, when they order a dip powder, you that their finger is going to be the only one in it. So that's a great option about, you know, being a consultant with Bella who you have that option to basically just open up your own, uh, nail store. So I'm just adding, uh, this tip on. just like that okay and from uh sally's now let's look at the powder so this is uh some pigment this is glow in the dark pigment the set that i had on um before uh this set i had some glow in the dark and they looked uh like this so with the peel off base I have the opportunity uh, to keep my nails. I can create like a, you know, a portfolio or anything like that that I want to. Um, and this is some stamping. So um, today we're going to do a full cover nail. So let's look. Uh, we have like literally all kinds of powders we have glitters we have solid colors we have glow in the darks we have uh thermal colors where you know hot and cold makes them change colors all kind of beautiful um powders 
And also, um, I would recommend to encapsulate. Even though it's, you know, dip powder, you still have to file, buff, and shape the nails. So I would uh, recommend to encapsulate with a layer or two layers of clear. If you are putting the dip on your natural nails and your nails are short, you can get away with two to three layers of dip. Of course, the longer the nails, you want more layers of dip powder because you wanna make sure that you build that apex up for strength. You can also use um, some regular acrylic powder in the dip way. So that's also another option. And uh, with this pigment, we do have other pigments. Uh, we have like pigments and powders. We just got a, um, a poly gel system. So literally um, with Bella Who, I really don't have to go anywhere for my nail products. Um, that's one of the luxuries, one of the things that I have been enjoying. I can just get everything from there and just do my nails at home. So some things that make the dipping uh, easier. When you are doing a uh, traditional dip application, of course, you will probably be dipping your finger into the uh, container. Just dipping your finger in there. I personally don't like to do that. So we do have uh, these trays here. And doing all of these different designs that I'm gonna show you today, the trays definitely come in handy. So here I have three of them and they stack together nicely. This tray, um, this is my newest one and one of my favorites. This is a recycling system. So I'm gonna show you guys how to use this one as well. So, are y'all ready to get dipping? <laughs> All right. So first, I'm gonna cut these nails down because I am not gonna wear them this long. So this is pretty good. I am gonna go for um, kind of a coffin shape. So I'm going to get my uh, straight nail clipper. So if you like a good coffin shape, this uh, straight, you uh, get that straight line on the edge. You can also use uh, scissors or anything, or you could just go right in and start filing, whatever uh, you prefer. So I'm gonna remove the shine from the tip. So um, these are the nails. And now we're gonna start dipping. And um, on the natural nail, you can put step one all over the nail and pour or dip or however you want to do the powder. I'm going to show you some different ways to apply the powder. But because my nails are a little uh, long, I'm going to go in with um, a layer in the center. And I'm going to do that uh, with clear just to kind of uh, build the nail up a little bit. I don't want the nails to be flat. I want it to have um, a apex.
So now I'm going around this uh, cuticle area again, trying to remove anything that is here. So I have my two layers here and then I have um, the two layers of the clear. And if you look at the side of the nail, you can see how it's not um, how it's not flat. And that's the purpose of that apex in there. At the end, I'm going to encapsulate this in clear. So at this point, we're still using the base coat. We're still using step one, all right? after we encapsulate that's when we're going to go in with our um and this is the clear that i'm pouring over and you can do uh, as many coats of clear as you like It's really up to you. Uh, if you like your nails thick, you can do however many coats your heart desire. So I then took this drawer out now. All right, so um, because I'm the only one using this right now, I'm just gonna put it back in there. All of the nails have been powdered. Now it's time for step two. So with this bottle, I um I don't close mine all the way. I kind of leave it open a little bit. You don't want your bottle to seal shut. So um, this bottle does have a stopper inside of it. So you want to make sure that you're carefully uh, removing your brush. We also have a brush uh, saver product, which is something um, that you would find, you know, common and um, other dip systems. So now I'm going to apply the activator and I'm going to do two coats of this. So with this, you wanna make sure that you fully saturate the nails. And I'm gonna get another one of these out so I can wipe it off. So now for the filing, it's ready. So I'm going to um, do the free edges first. So now I'm just going around that uh, cuticle area. The top coat uh, that's a part of the system, it activates with the, um, you have to put the activator on again. And when you uh, buy the kit, all of those instructions are on the back of the box. So um, you don't have to feel like, you know, you're just thrown to the wolves or whatever. On the back of the box, we have um, the instructions. So after you file it, you want to go in with another layer of the activator. And the logic behind that is, you know, with the filing, 
you may have exposed uh, some layers that have not been fully activated. So that's why you wanna go in with the activator again. Then um, after the activator is set, you wanna move any excess of the activator before you apply the top coat. So remember the top coat and the, the first step, um, they have those similar uh, ingredients. So, um, which is kind of like a, which is kind of like a glue. Um, which I know it may sound sound weird, but but it works. So um, it's going to seal in, seal in everything. So your first coat, you want to apply it uh, kind of quickly. Wipe your brush off because you don't want um, anything to get inside of the bottle that will cause the product to harden. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the activator one more time as instructed. It's dry. And then I'm going to wipe off uh, the excess so I can go in with my top coat. So the first coat you want to um, Put on quickly on there and, and wipe it off before you put it back in the bottom. So let me do one more coat of this um of this top coat. But this is um the look. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Makeup nails, fashion at most. Yeah, it's time for you to choose wrong what you would do. It's a one-stop shop, it's a wrap. Yeah, we do that. Go subscribe, hit the bell, leave a like, and just sit back.